Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Clash of Clans. Now at the moment I've I've got a bit of a new base and even though Supercell have sponsored this video my best troops are the measly level 2 barbarians and level 2 archers which are okay for this combo of the barbarians at the front the archers at the back but things like mortars just absolutely rip through my team. Ow. So I'm going to be doing what I've always wanted to do in this game and spending a thousand bucks to see how far I can get in one single sitting because the Clash for Nature event is now live, so I need to get as much gold as possible from multiplayer battles to make sure more money is donated to Team Trees. And you can tell I'm on Team Trees because look, we got this little we got this little hog farm down here, a little hog pen. So if you scan this QR code and join my team, and you'll get community rewards for taking part, you got to make sure that you place this hog pen down in order for your gold tally to count towards the totals. If you come click down here, this little button in the news, you can see oh we are ahead. Team Trees is beating Team C's. And if we scroll down to the leaderboard, oh yes, we are seventh, which is really good. But I feel like me personally, I'm not I'm not contributing enough. Like if you have a look at my clan, RC Propaganda, you can see the top three up there. Absolute beast bases. Like this is this is my editor, Bird. If we have a little look at his Oh my goodness, Bird. <laughs> <laughs> and see, that is a base. That is a base. I like the buttery biscuit base. And unfortunately, if we scroll down to the bottom, the very bottom, it's me. <laughs> and if we look at my base, it's perfect. Pathetic. And whilst you don't need to be in my clan to contribute to this, I feel like that's a good indication of where I sit in my community uh, uh, right at the bottom. So I think what we need to do, we need to we need to progress as fast as we can. Now, there's there's a nice way to do this, and it's called these little guys gems. So I can spend a thousand elixir to get my builder to come over and remove that. Look at him bashing away. We've still got another 15 seconds to wait. But trust me, today, that's going to be the last time we're going to be waiting in this game because although we we got 25 gems in that gem box. That will not do for me today. I want to engineer a way for Team Trees to get ahead. And uh, and as someone who's played this game for a very, very long time without ever buying any of these, I have always wanted to do this. I'm going to spend a thousand bucks to become overpowered. And uh, please don't try this at home. All right. And then we got 14,000 gems. So where where do I even start? Like my base, my base is doing all right after last time. And to be fair, I have upgraded like most things to the point where I need to upgrade to town hall level four let's just go straight to town hall level four 12 and a half grand we can easily do that it's gonna take three hours but look at all these new stuff we get so let's confirm that and then rather than twiddling my thumbs or watching paddy run around the garden for three hours i'm gonna spend 40 of my hard-earned gems to finish now yes please Oh boy. Oh, and I've also got a few boosts as well. Resource boost, power boost, and star boosts. Cheers, game. Right, so with our town hall leveled up, I feel like getting our army to be even better is probably what we need to do. So if I upgrade my army camp, we can hold more troops, five more troops. Unfortunately, it costs elixir. So I could buy the missing elixir for 27 gems. Or if we head back into the shop, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, I can I can fill my elixir storages for 126. That's way better value. So yes, fill those up, please. Then we'll upgrade that army camp. We'll finish now. And then we'll do the same for the other army camps. So what does it do? It's got it's got a carrot on it at the moment. We give it an upgrade. Flash the gems to finish it now. And oh, there's a turkey on it. Nice. Okay, so now our army can be bigger. But we probably want to upgrade our troops before we do any attacking. And at the moment, we need to upgrade our laboratory. We've done all the upgrades already. So let's buy that upgrade. 12,500 elixir. We'll finish now. And then we can research. We can make our giants better and our wall breakers better. Question though, if I'm going for gold, am I actually going to need those? Because if there's one thing that I've learned in this game is that goblins are really good at getting loot. I mean, it looks like I can't level those up until I get a level three lab. And to get a level three lab, we've got to get town hall level five. So I reckon for now, uh, we'll just we'll just upgrade everything. So let's get our gold storages upgraded. Finish now. We can then do our elixir storage. Finish now. All right. And then, oh, they can all be, they can all be upgraded again. Okay. Alexa storage again, please. So look at the size of that ball. I can get everything to level eight, it seems. Uh, thing is, for now, at least, we're, we're completely out of cash again. So fill gold storages, yes. Fill Alexa storages, yes. And the good thing is, 
because I've just upgraded these these storages, we can store even more now. So that's good. Anyway, let's let's upgrade these storages. Man, I'm I'm absolutely loving this. As someone who's played this for like years and never been able to like just blitz through the game, it's actually it's, it's quite fun. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, right. Next up, I probably need to do my barracks because if we upgrade them, oh, we get the balloons. I do quite like the balloons. So let's finish now. That is them upgraded. And then I need to get to town or level five to get the wizards. And we all know how powerful wizards are. P.S. Yes, if you don't, they're pretty powerful. We can then train troops. So I reckon we'll go for more of these golems. I think if I just leave some things upgrading a little bit, like we'll do the, we'll do some of our defenses. So we've got the arch tower, the mortar, we've got a cannon as well. And then I'll just have a little, a little bit of an attack just to see how we're doing. This one's got 2,400. Yeah, I think I'll use this one just to show you like how much better goblins are than barbarians are like getting loot. So if we shove you down there, three of you, like look how fast the the bars going down on this side compared to that side they are ripping through it uh, unfortunately though the, the bases on this one has quite a few defenses so let's shove a few barbarians down then the goblins goblins on that side as well right and then goblins absolutely ripping through the resources so we're only at the start of our journey but we only managed 1700 gold not the best i'm not gonna lie but i've still got 12,000 gems left so let's let's really let's get through this a bit quicker now so first off i've got to build everything i've got here oh, i can get another builder's hut it's a thousand and gems. I mean, technically, I don't need another builder's hut, but it is another building to get destroyed, so probably should. But yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to shove these in the corners. So I'll move that one to the corner as well and that one to that corner. I mean, to be honest, I should probably get my builders. Start removing some of these bushes. That will get me some, some nice extra gems as well. But yeah, if I get them right in the corners, uh, that will help me defend it a little bit. Alright, so I've now got the five builders, but I also need to build all of these things before I can progress. So let's get an extra gold mine in, an extra elixir collector. That will help keep the pigs company. We then need another archer tower, air defense, a load of walls, and of course, some spring traps. And I like to shove these like at the ends of walls because generally troops, they'll like run around there and then go boing, flying into the air. All right, so with all my new defenses in, I think we're good to go up another town hall level. 75 grand, chump change. Oh, look at all the new stuff we're going to get. Wizard towers. We'd usually have to wait six hours, but not today. Boosh. All right, so first things first, I think I'll upgrade my storages. So gold storage, yes. That gold storage as well. Yes. Then we got the elixir storages. They can go up by one as well. 50 grand, 10 gems, 93 gems to finish it. That's fine. We'll then do this other one. So 93 gems to finish that as well. Nice. Now we can store loads, loads of resources. We can store a million of each. So back in the shop, let's let's fill our gold storages completely. 595 gems. Now we got a million quid. We're a millionaire. I'm going to do the same for my elixir as well. So that's a million of both because uh, things are about to get pretty pricey, I think. So we'll upgrade our lab. And then, oh, that's a pretty nice lab. We can then research like pretty, well, yeah, everything. So I think the the goblins are probably the best things to upgrade. So 175 gems. That usually take nine hours, uh, but I can finish them right now. Yes, please. Then I can't level them up again until I get a level five lab. And what I might level up, I feel like the wall breakers work quite well with the with the goblins. Because like, if you look here, that's how they work. They come in and then they blow up the walls. So boosh, wall gone. Then my goblins can run straight in. So yeah, let's upgrade them. So that's those good. I'll think about doing everything else maybe a bit later. And um, then the next thing I want to upgrade, definitely my army camps. 125 elixir each. 93 gems each as well. And I can also upgrade my barracks to get the wizard unlocked. Oh yeah, the wizard. All right. And then the other thing I need to upgrade, which is probably quite a big one actually, it's my clan castle. Because at the moment I can only hold like 10 worth of troops. Some of the high level troops, like if someone wants to give me a dragon, for example, it won't actually fit in this castle. So if we upgrade this, we gain extra troop capacity, which means when I request troops from my from my darling clan, help me defeat the architect scum. Uh, they should be able to send me like better and better troops. Nice. All right. So next up, we've got a wizard tower to build. So that's 60 grand, a fair amount of cash. 40 gems to finish now as well. But yeah, basically that has a wizard on top. And as you can see there, as enemies come, 
boost, they get zapped. So we'll upgrade that so it gets more hit points, does more damage a second as well. 93 coins to finish. Oh no, we're halfway through our initial 14,000. It's okay though, plenty more where that came from. All right, then finally, we've got another army camp. So that will grow our army size even bigger. Uh, that's going to take five minutes to build. I'll tell you what, I might actually, I'm going to save the two gems. And while that's being built, I'm going to build a spell factory. Yes, we haven't, we haven't got spells yet. So we'll build that. I will, I will finish that one now for 93 coins. But in here, we can, we can unlock some cheeky bit of lightning. So we'll get those stacked up. And presumably in my lab as well, I can, if I go to this end, yes, I can research to make my lightning better. So we'll confirm that. That's now leveled up to level three. But uh, let's go have an attack. Oh, I'll tell you what, look at this base. Because we've leveled up so many town halls, look, 63,000 gold. That is going to help the cause. Now, we've got to be careful. There is a wizard tower there. I imagine that's where most of the gold is. You can see there's there's a load of gold in the resource collectors as well as the storage. So there's a few resource collectors over here. So yeah, let's send in. Oh, look, I got 69 goblins. Nice. But yeah, we'll send them in there. They'll go straight for the resources. Up this way, let's take out that mortar. And then when that's down, we can go for the wizard tower. Then get the goblins in. Get the goblins up there. All right, and then yeah, take down the town hall. And oh, that's where all the gold was. So now we've got one start. It's only 1100 gold remaining. So so, may as well end battle, check out our lovely winnings, and then return home, where now our army camp is pretty much done. I may as well, I'm not waiting 45 seconds, I'm spending a gem to finish it, and then we're going to upgrade it a load of times. So look, we've added, we've added the spit roast to it, we've then added the carrot, we've then added the turkey, and then we've, oh, we've added a hog to it. Nice, I didn't even see that before, but I did do that to my other two. But yeah, now our army size can be 135 rather than 90, so let's train some more, I reckon just barbarian for now. Actually, actually, I've got a better idea. We'll go giants. Giant goblin combo. It looks like I don't really need the wall breakers for now. So since we are going giants, let's upgrade the giants to level two. Decent. Should probably up upgrade the barbarians as I'm using them as well. All right, nice. Then I've got loads of gold. So I may as well upgrade like some of my defenses. Can you see this little cannon here? That is a level one cannon. That is a level two cannon. That is a level three cannon. That is a level four. A level five looks like this. And then a level six looks like that. Decent. So I'll do the same for the arch tower. So level one, level five. And then this is level six. Pretty beasty. I love games that give like a visual upgrade as you like upgrade stuff. But yeah, we can do the same progression with Alexa collectors and the gold collectors. And then as I upgrade them, you can see them fast forwarding through time up the different levels until they finally look like this. So yeah, that's good. They they now give us like oh, 2,800 per hour. They can store up to 100,000 gold as well. But uh, to be honest, we're only really focusing on those on those attacks. Uh, so to be honest, rather than upgrading all the other ones, Ones, I may as well just, just go to the next level. I'm not even going to bother doing my walls yet because until I'm going to turn this off and I can be attacked, uh, I'm, I'm pretty safe as long as I'm online. So for now, let's town hall to level six. Of course, we'll finish that straight away. Thank you, game. All right, so now we're in next town hall level up. Let's upgrade our laboratory because that's going to be really important because then we can research the next level giants. Lovely. We can then upgrade our army camp. Except no, oh, we need so much elixir. Now I've still got loads of gems. So fill my elixir storage, then upgrade all my army camps. And then our army can hold 150 troops. All right, then we'll have a little search for some opponents. And yeah, ideally I want to find one like this. 60,000 gold, very underleveled stuff. So it will send in a couple of giants. They should destroy all the defenses pretty quickly. Uh, I might use my lightning. Let's destroy that mortar. So boosh, two hits with the mortar, that is gone. And then up this end, there's hardly any defenses, so I can send in the golems, and they will go straight for resources. So yeah, giants smashing up all the defenses, golems ripping through the resources. That available loot is about to drop significantly. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Since we have so many giants still, I may as well, I may as well three-star this one. Oh no, my giants went flying! Oh no, the springs! 
the springs ripped me. I'm not going to be able to get to three stars because I'm not sending more giants in. No chance. As an engineer, you got to know when to quit. And you quit when you've got 60 grand in the bank. So 600 grand in the bank to upgrade. I think upgrading my elixir storage is a good start. Oh, wow. We can build these new gold mines. We can build oh, loads of stuff. So whilst we don't care too much about collectors at this stage, uh, I, will, I will do long term, just not for this competition. But I've got to I've got to buy everything to progress the next town hall level anyway. So we'll get all of these purchased, get them all upgraded as well. And then we'll get to a point where, oh no, we've run out of gems. We've run out of gems. <laughs> now, thankfully, while I've been doing this, I've been leveling up. So I've got all these rewards that I can claim. They are loads of gems. And we've got all of these challenges as well, which get us loads of rewards. So we get gold, elixir, potions. But then we also got 14,000 more gems. So we'll level up our barracks for 400 elixir and 260 gems. We'll then upgrade everything else like these wizard towers. We're then at a point where everything is upgraded at town hall level 6. Except for the wolves. Oh, and these and these two collectors which I forgot about. Alright, there you go. That's those two upgraded. Alright, let's get my wolves upgraded then. This is going to be expensive. The purple crystals are the current wall level. They have 2,000 hit points compared to the level 1 walls, which have just 300 hit points. So to be honest, worth selecting every row, worth upgrading all the way. Although if you check out my resources in the top right, I don't think they're going to last very long doing this. Oh boy. Okay, so that is... That is everything maxed out, finally. Now it's time to upgrade the Town Hall. 500 quid. But look, Town Hall level 7. Now, I'm not going to lie. Those walls, they, they cost me a lot of my gems. We're down to just 3,000 again. So I think it's probably sensible to get another 14,000 gems. And Town Hall 7 is the big one. Because look, we can get the Barbarian King. Now, for that, we're going to need Dark Elixir. So if we head to resources, we can get the Dark Elixir drills as well as the storm. Storage. Okay, well, we'll shove one up there. Finish now. Oh, rather than using gems, I can use one of my books. I should probably save that for something a bit more expensive than this drill, though. So I'll use gems for now. We'll then upgrade it straight away, all the way to level three. So now that is gaining us 45 dark elixir per hour. That's not a lot. So yeah, we're going to need two and a half thousand to get the barbarian king so the best way to do that is probably through attacks so let's increase my army size with an army camp of course we will max upgrade it as well right so that is a huge step up in terms of my army size i should probably increase my elixir storage because if i can store more elixir then i can afford the bigger upgrades and like the research once we upgrade the laboratory yeah they're pretty pricey if i want to get my my goblins upgraded 500 100k. Same for the giants. So 1200 gems to fill my Alexa storage. Ugh. But then we can upgrade the goblins. They're going to do like way more damage a second and have quite a lot more hit points. Same with the giants. So yeah, let's do some attacking. Now we're still focusing on the gold, but if there's dark Alexa, I will be I will be nabbing it. Right. Oh, this one, this base looks perfect for the taking. So basically hardly any defenses over this way, although everything is quite highly leveled. But look, all these collectors are completely filled up. So if I just, just shove a few barbarians down to distract them, then go mental with the goblins, the goblins should rip through. Look at that gold coming down. So goblins are trying to take out the town hall. I'm not sure that's worth that's worth doing just for 13 grand. So we'll stop there. We'll take the 32 grand. And then, oh, I've just noticed I can upgrade my barracks. Oh, to get dragons. I love dragons. And I'll tell you what, I may need to start doing some like dragon stuff. Because uh, you may have noticed as I sort of search through these, like the bases, they're pretty low level. That's because I haven't been fully destroying them, which means I haven't been getting the, the trophies, as you can see there, which means I'm in quite a low league. Uh, this is sort of like the, the architect league, basically. So what I really need to do is start destroying bases. So let's send in giants there. Sending giants there and over there. Then we'll... Well, I, w I was going to lightning. I feel like my giants will be strong enough to absolutely rip through everyone. Yeah, something I will do, though. This button here, this is what my clan have given me. And I'm pretty sure they're balloons. So, yeah, now those giants have killed that air defense. We'll open up. Yes, there's the balloons. So, oh, no. Oh, no. 
They got bombed. They got bombed. It's okay, though. They're going straight over the town hall. I think they're heading towards that defense. Hopefully, giants will take it out because... Oh, no. It destroyed them all. Oh, that was pointless. Anyway, that's pretty much all the defense is gone. So, goblins go mental up the top. All right. So, they're ripping through that. They're getting all the loot. I'm going to aim for three stars this time. So, you can see goblins destroying the town hall. I don't like how grouped together they are. If we get a bomb, they're probably gone. But nice. Last couple of buildings. Then that is three stars stars we get some trophies and yeah i've got to collect 400 trophies to even join a league i'm not even in bronze league i'm such a noob but look at my base <laughs> I'm so overpowered. So yeah, anyway, let's get the Dark Alexa storage down. We'll upgrade it, of course. We can't just have a level one Dark Alexa storage. We'll then finish adding all these defenses, including the new one, the hidden Tesla. Now, Teslas are cool because you literally, you can't see them. Look, they pop up from under the ground and then just rip through everyone. So I'll shove one in each corner of my base. Fully level it up, of course. All right, then I'm going to ask my clan for more troops. Oh, I've received a level one Yeti and a level six Archer. Thank you. Use the Rune of Gold to fill. That gets me over three million gold. Yes, please. Oh my goodness, we got four million gold again. If only that counted towards the Team Trees thing. Speaking of which, any progress? I can see Team Trees. We are still ahead. That is good. But now it's time to invest in our level two dragons. So let's go all out dragon. Now, of course, I'm not I'm not going to wait for them to train. We're going to finish training straight away. 29. And then we'll find a base all like this one. No walls. 80,000 gold. So first things first, let's lightning the air defense. Boosh. Well, then I would send in the goblins, but um, it's not going to do anything. I could send in the yeti. Go on, yeti. So, right, whilst they're doing that, that's all the air defense has done. We'll get some dragons down. And then goblins on the ground. Oh, look at the dragons ripping through everything. I think I went a bit a bit overkill on this base. Not going to lie. Man, my dragons didn't even get touched. Nice. Well, that's another 80 grand for the cause. Town hall level up. It's going to cost a million. Look at all these new buildings and defenses we get. Lee. Oh, no, no. I can't actually upgrade until I build the the king thing. Now, I forgot about the dark barracks. That adds loads more troops that we need dark elixir to get. Uh, can upgrade that. Oh, to get the hog riders. I like hog riders. But yeah, unfortunately, we're not making a lot of dark elixir. I've, my drill's made a little bit. It's got 18. What do I need to get the barbarian king again? Two and a half thousand. <laughs> Thankfully, gems will always help you out because I can fill my dark elixir storage. So now we got 20,000 of that, which means barbarian king you are now mine uh, and also i can i can upgrade you as well so you definitely upgrade um, oh i can also buy a different skin is there an engineering one i mean technically he is wearing a hard hat there so you know what that means but yeah what i like about the barbarian king if we get a load of barbarians in our army then as we do attack let's say let's say we do it on this one we can put a king down we can put a load of barbarians around him and then when we press this button it makes all the barbarians around him go giant and go mental like a nice little boost. Anyway, I need to destroy this base, remember? So we'll do that. I'll try and take out these air defenses because they will hurt my dragons. But just like that, we have another three stars. Our barbarian king barely took any damage. Oh, actually, why, where's his new skin? Ah, oh, there it is. Much better. He's got a hard hat on now. Anyway, I'm upgrading my town hall level. Despite being told I need to upgrade to level 4 barbarians if I want to survive, we'll spend some gems getting the town hall finished. And now we are Town Hall level 8. And we've got loads more defenses and traps to build. I think we got to get the goblins upgraded. 1.2 million. I don't have the gems to finish it. So you know what that means? It means my accountant will probably be having words with me because we've got another 14,000 gems. Then fill up my dark elixir storage. 2,400 gems. But then I can upgrade my barbarian king a few times. We'll upgrade our barracks so we can get a pekka. We'll train a couple of those. But mostly I'm just interested in the dragons, I think. So so, Mr. Pecker, go destroy the air defenses. Oh, wow. You have a very strong sword. Oh, my goodness. That is ripping through everything. Anyway, after a load more battles, I finally got ranked, which means I should be able to find more bases like this, which have much better loot. So, since I got dragons, let's look for the air defenses. Wait, this guy doesn't have any air defenses. Wait, this guy doesn't have any, any defenses. Just a single little cannon. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's send in the dragons. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if this person was one of those pay-to-win people. Ironic. Ironic. 
So we'll surely put an end to that, Mega Monsters. So with them defeated, I got 200 grand towards the Team Trees pot. So I'm going to spend the next few hours just leveling up everything I can. I'm then going to spend to the $1,000 mark, which means I can upgrade my Town Hall again. And then as well as dragons, I've now got baby dragons. Now, I don't know if they changed these, but these used to work better if they, if they were just on their own. One thing I do know, though, they work better when they're fully upgraded. Oh, yeah, so they get enraged if they're on their own. I think if I had another one, yeah, they're not enraged. So you got to, you got to like spread them about. Anyway, in case you're wondering what my final base looked like in one sitting of this game, here it is. We got a town hall level nine. We've maxed out a load of our defenses. Uh, even a lot of our walls are like level eight as well. You can see we've got level 15 arch queen and the, the barbarian king. Our golems are level six, dragon level four, and we've got the lightning up to level six as well, which means we can take on bases like this 410,000 gold. I mean, to be honest, this doesn't look like much of a base that needs that needs attacking. But still, you can see there's air defenses like in the middle. They may be quite hard to get to. So we'll give them a little bit of lightning. Sod it. We're lightning both of them. They are now down. There's more up this way. But I reckon we can probably just we'll get the Archer Queen in. Make her invisible. There you go. That is down. Now take out the crossbow. Take out the air defense. There we go. Right. Now we're pretty good. I don't think we can lose this really. We'll take out that expert as well. Is it Expo or Crossbow? I've always called it Expo, but it probably is Crossbow. We'll send in our Barbarian King as well. You can see he's got his hard hat on. Safety first. And I've got a few little golems about. Let's get them involved. But yeah, dragons absolutely ripping through teams. Not gonna lie, that was quite an easy base though. Anyway, 410 gold for the cause. For an hour or two's worth of gameplay, pretty good base in my opinion. But yeah, now I'm at a stage where I'm really contributing for my community. Remember, if you want to contribute as well, be sure to scan this QR code. Make sure you play your hog farm. And we've got until the 11th of December to get as much multiplayer gold as we can so that not only Team Trees will get a larger share of the donated cash, but also you guys will get some in-game prizes as well. And on that note, I'll say peace, love. And little pigs, look at them lying down. Bye, guys.